Would you like to turn a boring photo slideshow into a dramatic photo montage video? Let me introduce the Ken Burns effect in VideoPad. In this tutorial, I'm using three photos which I have dropped into the timeline. If you want to get started with VideoPad, the free video editing software, go to the link below. Now, let's get started. Click on the first photo in the timeline. Go to the menu and select Video Effects. Choose Pen and Zoom. In the Effects options, choose Select Start Frame. Go to the Preview Monitor and select the part of the photo you want to start with. Now go back to the Effects options and choose Select End Frame. Go to the preview monitor and select the part of the photo you want to end with. Close the effects options box. Move the playhead in the timeline to the beginning and press play. Ask yourself whether you like the zoom in effect you just created. Now let's create a tilt effect on a portrait or vertical photo. Select the image clip in the timeline and go to Video Effects. Select Pan and Zoom. For the start frame, I would like to select the part where the man is looking at a waterfall. For the end frame, I'll make the frame size similar to the start frame, but this time I'll focus on the top of the waterfall. Now let's play back from the timeline. There you go, our tilt effect. Next, let's simulate a camera panning effect. I won't mention the repeated steps again, but it's important to note that what we have done so far works best when we have very high resolution photos or images. So for the panning effect, I want to crop into the photo to make the avocados start from the right side of the screen and end off in the center. So don't forget to download the video pad editing course if you like what we have done today. Just go to videolane.com slash videopad. Also click the thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe. This is Adrian Lee from videolane.com. See you in the next one.